Hello, Magnum Man 2010 back again. Uh, I thought today uh, we'd talk about a few blocking oscillators that I put together. They're all a little bit different from one another, and I thought they were kind of interesting. Uh, one thing for sure, though, uh, I went and picked up a new camcorder. So this is going to be all new to me. I got both hands free, the camcorder's on a stand, and I'm going to be able to wiggle around like so and, and uh, pause it if I want. I wasn't able to do that with my other camcorder. This is a Samsung uh, F80, I believe it's called. It's not really the top of the line, but it's a good camcorder. It does a real nice job from what I've seen so far. Okay, we'll get started on this one that we're looking at right now. I'll zoom in a little bit on it. Give you a little better idea what it looks like. Okay. I just soldered it up on the little board rather than use a breadboard. It's being run with uh, one of the uh, Plengo type batteries that I made it was just about a year ago. Okay. Give this a, some kind of a distance where I want it. You have to bear with me because this is new to me, this camcorder, and I'll be playing with it. I'll do the best I can. Now, what's different about this camcorder is, uh, well, I'll tell you first, this here is the fella, I found it online, and he called it the uh, Penny SG Hybrid, and I replicated it. And this here is the circuit for it. Hopefully, if I hold it steady, it'll clear up. You'll be able to see it. And what I did different about it is I put this other coil in. I'll show it to you here. I ordered these online because this fella, if I can find his name here, this fella right here, M-E-D-I-40, that's his channel. Uh, he told me about them. He said they were good on the little blocking oscillator circuit. So I ordered some and I got it in. That's what they look like. They're very small and they're called I can get this up here so you can see it. It's uh, NEC token common mode magnetic IM or EMI line filter suppression inductor ST110BH. And I got that on eBay. And it was a couple of bucks for, uh, for two of them. I think I ordered six of them. Well, I know I did. Anyway, I put that together and you can see it works good. Running off that little uh, old uh, battery I made <laughs> a long time ago. A fun gold type battery I made a long time ago. And anyway, I uh, use that in some of the other ones too, and I'll show you that shortly here. Uh, this here is uh, more of the, the typical uh, penny. Uh, what I, what's different about this one is I went to Goodwill the other day and I picked up an old tube set, a small one, for uh, three bucks. Two ninety nine. <laughs> anyway, when I was taking taking some of the parts out of it, I got enough wire to wind, to wind a few coils and uh, a lot of other little resistors and capacitors and stuff. But I found some of these. I can show you this. What it looks like. And I was looking at the schematic on on the circuit board, and it looked like it was a coil. And I thought, you know, I'll bet that's a inductor. So anyway. I took, I decided uh, several, about maybe seven, eight of them. And there, if you look down there, you can see, uh, I'll bring that in a little closer. Let it, let it, uh, boy, it's gonna take some getting used to. Now, well, anyway, there they are right there. And they're replacing the coil. This guy here, that I put in. And you can see they work very well. I have no idea what the value is, but they sure work good. And they've been running for, uh, well, yesterday morning sometime, I charged that cap up to just a tiny bit over a volt, this super cap right here. And it's been running ever since, I don't know, probably about 30 hours now, something like that. Anyway, here's another one here that I got to put together. And this is exactly the same thing. It's running off a of super cap exactly the same way. Been running a couple of days now. The only difference on this one here is I'm using these uh, Radio Shack chokes. And they're, they're, they're also working very well. No problem at all with them. Now on the third one over here, or fourth one I guess it is, this is the original penny circuit, except I have this little coil here in it. 
little inductor or whatever you want to call it and it, it's working good working real good <laughs> I'm pretty happy with it anyway here's the uh, penny circuit uh, I'm hoping you can see it all with new camera <laughs> probably not let me uh, zoom back a bit here Takes some getting used to I'll tell you that much well anyway if, if you go to Lid motor channel, you'll you'll see his uh, penny circuit, and this is this is it. The only difference on this one is that down here, I've got a couple of uh, chokes in there instead of his uh, twist wire coils. But that is the circuit for most most of all my blocking oscillators. And over here, of course, is the original penny, which has been working now for I think around 24 days. I'm still doing that test right on the uh, video I did called Penny Charity Cap. I told you I'd do a video on that later on <laughs> when I get when I get my final results. When they finally quit flashing, and I think they are. I'm not I'm not really charging anymore. They're steadily going down. Okay, I'm gonna get back with this all the way. Let's have a look at all of them if I can. I'm gonna pick this thing up if I can. Back up a bit here. It's got in a coil of wire today, 30 gauge. I'm gonna be able to wind some little bobbin coils with that. Well, anyway, that's what I wanted to bring, bring give you a little update on. Uh, have any comments or anything? Please feel free to do so. And thanks very much for watching.